It's a privilege to have you here and listen to your experience and your deep uh, insights on a lot of things. My question to you is, um, as an elected president candidate and potentially a very likely president... Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you think you're in a better position to use your insights and your views to manifest change? Or are you better outside of it to effect change, given the defined rule of EP in the context of Singapore? I would not have given up, you know, what I'm doing uh, at SPH and GIC, you know, very good jobs, interesting similar work in order to take on the risk of running for the presidency. If I not felt that being president, I, I can do more for Singapore, and that must be the issue because the president, of course, doesn't have executive powers. Uh, he's not an executive president, he's an elected president, powers are very limited. It doesn't mean the president has no, no influence. In my own case, because I worked with the government for many years, I know the ministers well. Uh, I believe I have a successful track record, both in the private sector as well as in the public sector. And I've been involved particularly in this field of entrepreneurship for many years. Uh, they know I have a special interest in it. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, I will be able to reflect some of these views to the ministers who are in charge of their uh, particular uh, responsibilities. And in that way, perhaps to improve the system, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's something which I consider to be very important for Singapore. And I think we serve in various capacities. Uh, as chairman of NRF, uh, I could do uh, quite a lot. I believe if, as president, I will still be able to continue to uh, exert that influence and on a broader scale.